Yeah, what's going on? Hey, today is a special day for me because this is something that I made gazillion trillion times. So I worked at Le Select in the early 2000s, one of the best French bistros in Toronto, and we had maybe the weirdest pasta ever in the history of pastas. It was a chicken pasta with cream, chicken stock, Kalamata olives, pickled red onion, lemon segments, capers. What the fuck? If there's any Italians out there, I beg your pardon. I write about it in my book, Homestyle Cooking. I made this dish once or twice a year for the past 14 years. So Trish craves it for some reason. And I forget about it until I start prepping. And it reminds me so much of Le Select in my formative restaurant line cooking years. This dish is no fucking way makes sense in any country, especially France. Italy would have blown off the head of the chef that brought this dish to the pass. It's complete blasphemy and yet it's perfect. I love the outcast and this dish is kind of how I am. I don't make sense to a lot of people. Nope. The second most people meet me, they fall in love. Humble. This dish is the French version of the puttanesca, I guess. Capers, Kalamata, olives, pickled red onions, lemon segments, LOL, what the fuck? Chicken, chicken stock, cream, literally the complete opposite of the traditional Roman puttanesca. So if puttanesca is the whore's pasta, then is this the French cockholds version? Wrote that, didn't I? Enjoy. It's my wife's favorite pasta, and when I make it, it reminds us of when we were young and free, living paycheck to paycheck, dreaming of life, what it would be like. This is what life would be like, honey. to make the old fucking cockhole pasta. Shall we begin? So we got a little canola oil, medium high heat. We got some bone in skin on chicken thighs, the greatest chicken of the chicken. A little bit of pepper, ooh, isn't that nice? We're just gonna do a little salt. We're gonna get this chicken nice and crispy and then we're gonna braise it and we're gonna create a lot of nice flavor. And then we're just gonna season a little more on the bottom so then you don't really have to touch your chicken because I know nobody likes touching your chicken. If you touch the chicken, then you touch something else, everyone's gonna die. So we want to just brown up our chicken really nice. And then once we get this browned up, we'll be able to make all the garnishes. This is coming from a weird place, the past. This is a 30 year old dish. This dish was on the menu for almost 30 years at Le Select and um, and I love Aww. it. All right, so, so we got a nice golden brown. We just flip all of our beautiful little chicken thighs. We're almost there. So we got our crispy chicken thighs. And now I'm just gonna pour off some of the oil, put the chickens back in. We're just gonna deglaze. So we're just gonna braise these up and cook these until we can shred the chicken thighs. Should take about 20 minutes or so. We already got that beautiful fond. Little, give it a little scrape on the bottom of a pan. Beautiful. Shall we make some pickled red onion? I like to make round, so I'm just gonna peel the onion and we're gonna slice it as thin as possible. You could use a mandolin if you want. I'm just gonna use a knife quickly. Now what we're gonna do is put our red onions in here. This is an ultimate quick pickle, okay? The ultimate quick pickle. For one onion, a large red onion like that, you can add about three tablespoons of sugar. And now all I'm gonna add is the juice of two lemons. I'm gonna get my little, my juicy, cause I don't wanna pick out all these damn seeds. And we're just gonna add lemon juice oh, and sugar. And we're just gonna play with these for a while, okay? And we're just gonna let them break down, macerate, and we just kind of turn them up. I would say you can make these literally like an hour in advance. So by the time that this chicken pasta is gonna be done, you're gonna see, where you don't have a switch out, you're gonna see how quickly these beautiful onions turn in this sugar and lemon juice. And you're gonna see something magical happen, okay? So I'm just gonna run my knife over these Kalamata olives really quickly, or I might just even, I'm just gonna give them a smush with my knife, or you can just rip them with your hands. I know that everyone right now in the comment section is already lighting me up. You already light me up and I love it. Come light me up. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. I'm here for it. 
I'm gonna show you something. We are going to Supreme a lemon. Take the top, take the tail, and we're just gonna work our way around. And you just kind of take your knife and you just cut away. You are left with a lemon segment. Doo -doo -doo. Take your knife, be careful. And we're gonna make a little incision and then a little incision. And you're left with that little lemon segment. Isn't that nice? And then I'm just gonna take the excess little lemon. And I'm just gonna squeeze the lemon juice on top of it so these stay hydrated. I'm just gonna need one clove of fresh garlic. That's all I want. So just slice up your garlic as thin as you can. I'm just gonna use a little bit of white onion. And we want the garlic and the onion to kind of just melt in with the olive oil. So I'm gonna dice this up kind of fine. And I'm gonna put the garlic and the onion in at the same time because you know what? Because I'm getting crazy. We got our chicken thighs. We've reduced the sauce. The chicken thighs are breakable. So I'm just gonna like kind of fork, hold this down and pull all the meat. Now look at the amount of meat. Look at that. And we got all that nice reduced chicken stock. Look at this, this is the fun stuff. Okay, I'm gonna boil some water. That's for our fusilli. We always use fusilli for this pasta once again. No rhyme or reason. Once again, we're gonna start with some olive oil. We got our onions and our garlic. Throw those in and we're just gonna melt these down. Hey, I don't want any dark bits. I just wanna really let that garlic and that onion just kind of melt away. So we got this beautiful, beautiful color. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our chicken. We're gonna add a little bit of pasta water. So we got our braised chicken, our onions, our garlic. So now I'm gonna add the heavy cream, about half a cup. We're just gonna stir this in. It may seem a little watery right now, but as soon as we add that pasta, it's gonna thicken it up. You know, add a bag, some nice fusilli. I'm just gonna put the lid back on so it comes back up to a boil. Okay, here we go, it's hot! Let's pull the fusilli out. Let's give this a little toss. The natural starches, everything is so beautiful. Everything is emulsifying and we just, we just saute. We're gonna add a little more water, a little boop, boop, a little bit of the grated Parmesan cheese. And now just a couple little, we're just gonna take our fusilli, our chicken. We're just gonna put a little pile. You don't want it soupy saucy. You want it nice and creamy and velvety and coating the noodle. We're just gonna dress it and we just take a little bit of the caper, a little bit of the lemon, a little driblet of lemon juice, a couple Kalamata olives. Doo -doo. We have our beautiful pickled red onions. And are they super pickled? They're not super pickled, but they're like a little vinegary. They got that sugar in them. Oh, I love it. And then a little fresh cracked pep, a little drizzle of olive oil. And right there, I don't know where it comes from, I know that I, just, I served it at a French restaurant and it's just a weird enough dish that it works. This dish is truly something that is weird. You don't understand it. A lot of people think I'm weird. They don't understand me and that's okay. But a bunch of weird combinations can sometimes turn into something really nice. Mmm, mmm, wow. This is an amazing dish. And, oh, oh my God. Anyone that went to Le Select back when it was on Queen Street and it had the hanging bread baskets, you gotta remember this chicken dish. Hit me up in the comments, someone's got to. And this dish is for you. Anyone that grew up eating at Le Select, going to Le Select, somebody at that table ordered this pasta once. And this is for you. I got, I'm not gonna eat this all because I gotta bring it to Trishy. She's over in the garden. I love you guys. Homestyle Cookery is out September 29th. I made it for me. You make it for you. All right. I love you guys. World peace. Let's go.